Welcome back to TechKid FX for another price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you a price prediction update on Polygon Matic whose current price stands at the 0.7443 dollar mark and here on trading view the market is down by 0.41% and in this video I want to give you the key scenarios that I expect to play out basing my analysis on the audio waves and the Fibonacci and also the key areas of support and resistances so if you're interested in such content make sure that you stick around till the end of the video and I'll kickstart the video by giving a brief of what has been happening on this chart. Polygon Matic from the all-time high has been seeing no prices in this massive ABC correction which has now taken us back to around the $0.32 dollar mark and having done so I believe it has done the minimum that we expected it to do in its ABC corrective movement and soon we might see a very nice bounce to the upside in this idea to structure having a wave 5 taking us back to an all-time high. But before we get to an all-time high we first need to see a fast wave to the upside and I believe that is what is information over here and if I jump to the 4 hour chart so that we can see this better within a wave 1 we also expect to see a fractal wave information within a wave 1 which I think is what is playing out here on the 4 hour chart and right now we are in the formation of a wave 4 and soon we might see a wave 5 to the upside to complete a higher edge to wave count 1 and if I get a little bit into the details of the formation of this fractal wave so that we can also get the key scenarios that I expect to play out after making a low down here we saw a very nice bounce to the upside in the formation of a wave 1 then saw a very nice retracement over here in the formation of a wave 2 which according to the uh, Fibonacci is retraced between the Fib level 0.618 and the Fib level 0.618 and having done so, I believe it has done the minimum that we expected it to do in, its, uh, in that movement to the lower side. Then after making the low for the wave 2, we saw a very nice bounce to the upside in the formation of a third wave, which I had a target area here on the charts at around the $0.93 dollar mark, which I was basing it on the trend-based Fibonacci. And you can see that trend-based Fibonacci gives me a target area at around the $0.92 dollar mark, and that is at the Fib level 1.618. And initially here on the charts, I had my wave 3 high as this high that you have over here then this retracement over here was what I was terming as a wave 4 to the lower side but the moment we managed to break above the key area of resistance at around the $0.95 dollar mark that made me to change scenarios having the new high at around the $1.06 dollar mark as the new high for that third wave to the upper side and because our wave 4 is a retracement of the fourth wave we can use the Fibonacci to get a minimum target area for that fourth wave to the lower side and I just need to connect the fibs from the low of the wave 3 to the high of that wave 3 and that gives me a minimum target area for that fourth wave to the lower side between the fib level 0.618 and the fib level 0.382 and I can mark that target area here on the charts like that and you can see we have continued to respect that movement to the lower side in the formation of our wave 4 and within this movement we also formed a channel over here and we managed to break out of that channel to the lower side we even had a retest of that channel to the lower side then lost a key area of support at around the 0.78 dollar mark then we continued pushing lower and found support at around the 0.72 dollar mark and that is the area that we are trading within and Within a wave 4, which is a corrective wave, we also expect to see an ABC corrective movement in formation over here. And I believe that is what we are also seeing over here, having this as the wave A. Then a wave B, making a high at around the $0.94 dollar mark. Then we have continued pushing lower in the formation of a wave C, which has now taken us back to around the $0.68 dollar mark. And that could mean maybe the low for that fourth wave is now in at around the 0.68 dollar mark because the 0.68 dollar mark is within our red target area here on the charts and it's possible that maybe the low was in at around the 0.68 dollar mark and whatever we are seeing over here might be what will be forming a wave 5 to the upper side to complete a higher edge to wave count 5 but we need confirmation for that and it's also possible that maybe the low is not yet in and we might uh, make a new low at around the 0.66 dollar mark or maybe lower but we also need to have invalidation points for that edge to wave structure and that edge to wave structure can only get invalidated in, in case our wave 4 over here retraces back to around the 0.62 dollar mark which is the high for that first wave to the uh, to the upside over here in case that happens then I'll have to remove my edge to wave structure and view this movement to the upside as something else and getting back into the formation of our wave 4 over here 
right here we are trading within a, within a channel and if i jump to the one hour chart so that you can see that better you can see we have been trading within this channel right here and we found support at around the 0.72 dollar mark which is the lower part of the channel and we are seeing a bit of a bounce to the upside and that gives me the key scenarios that i can play out on this chart it's possible that Polygon Matic might continue pushing higher, get to the upper side of the channel, get rejected at that key area of resistance at around the 0.78 dollar mark because it's a key area of resistance and then have a pull back to the lower side and we come and lose that key area of support at around the 0.72 dollar mark and make a new low below the low that you have at around the 0.68 dollar mark so that's the first possible scenario that can play out on this chart it's also possible that maybe we might not be able to push even higher and from the one hour chart you can see we have some bearish candlesticks it's possible that you might continue heading lower lose that key area of support maybe even have a retest and make a new low below this low down here at around the 0.68 dollar mark and once that plays out then we can start sketching out a bullish movement to the upper side assuming the high for that the low for that fourth wave to the lower side is in and because we have the high for that that wave to the upside and also the high for the first wave we can also sketch out a target area for that first wave to the upper side getting back to the one hour chart so that to the four hour chart so that we can sketch out that target area using the trend based fibonacci connecting them from the low of the wave one to the high of the wave one then dragging them to the high of that that wave that gives me a minimum target area for the higher idiot wave count one at around the 0.618 fib level and that is at around the 1.24 dollar mark so let's be patient and see how that plays out and i'll keep you updated also taking a look at the indicators here on the rsi the four rsi we are trading at around the 48 mark and that means we have room for us to support any movement to the upper side also taking a look at the macd here on the four hour macd we have printed a bullish cross and that would mean higher prices could be coming our way so let's be patient and see how that plays out and i'll keep you updated